the heart of this? And, you know, I, it, it's hard to answer that question. I mean, one answer is we're really not very much better at general AI than we were 30 years ago. And, and you know, it's, it's very hard. It probably is going to require some big scientific breakthroughs to really understand how to do it. Another way to look at it is to just, you know, when, when I was putting together this talk, you know, I, I thought instead of having a dumb story about John giving Mary the car keys, I thought it would be cool to look at a real kid's book and see if we could talk about how to understand a passage from a kid's book. So I went and got a book that my daughter used to like. And I looked for a passage that we could talk about. And, and you know, what I quickly found out is they're way, way too complicated to even have a conversation about in, in a talk like this. So so here's a, here's a random example of something from one of the this series of books my daughter read when she was in elementary school. So I sat at my table very nice. Mrs., which by which she means the teacher, passed out colored paper, paper for invitations. Also, she passed out curly ribbon invitations. They're supposed to go to their parents for a graduation ceremony. And lace and paste and bottles of sparkly glitter. Just as a reminder, she said, we did not paste glitter in our eyebrows. And we did not put lace up our noses. And above all, we did not glue curly ribbon to our heads and pretend that it's long hair. She looked and looked at me. I squirmed in my seat a little bit. Because that woman has a memory like a hawk, I tell you. So to understand that, you have to understand it, a bunch of sort of complicated stuff at different levels. So you have to understand that, you know, that when the teacher is talking about, is giving these cautions, she's remembering things that the main character actually did. That's why she talks about having a memory like a, like a hawk and, and, and so on. And, and so, um, you know, that's essentially, you know, that this is a hard problem. So, uh, you know, it, we, and I can promise you that there is not an, AI, an artificial intelligence program in the world that can understand this passage. Okay. I mean, not even come close, frankly. So, you know, if, if you could write a program that would understand this passage, and I don't mean, obviously, you could write something that was specifically tuned for this specific passage, but what, of course, I mean is you, could, you write the program and somebody picks a passage like this and your program understands it. If you could do that, uh, you, you, you know, they give you a Nobel Prize as, as soon as they could possibly give it to you. Uh, so, so you know, I, it's it would is partly by way of saying this is a really really hard problem uh, to to do even behave intelligently even at the level of an elementary school child. Um, and also to sort of encourage you that it's a you know it's a it's an exciting wide open problem. Now, if you can, all you have to do is figure out how to how to do the, uh, you know, kind of how to build the causal chains that represent what you're supposed to understand out of a passage like this. And, and you know, as someone I used to watch give tennis lessons on TV used to say, you'll be, you'll be famous by Friday.